You know, this this actually it reminds me. It doesn't taste like like one, but it reminds me of a cognac. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's got that, it's it got that a, high alcohol. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you taste it on the exhale, um, yet it's it's really very stimulating Smooth to the palate. Uh, okay, sorry, <laughs> I, Danny. I really like this beer. Let, let me say that one beeping. more time without without. Without that, so she can smooth as fudge. <laughs> it's very stimulating to the palate. It really oh, is. No, it's, uh, right. That's what I meant to say. It's like velvet. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. It's like velvet, not smooth as fudge. I'll tell you what. You know, knowing you said cognac, and you compare a great cigar with a great cognac, sure, also. Yeah. But, but I tell you what. I, I, when I'm drinking this one here, I just want to taste this beer. That's it. That's it. That's okay. it. This you don't want to pair it with anything. You just want to have it. No, this yeah, is you, really, you, really you're, you're good. You're absolutely right. I don't want to pair this with anything. I, like I don't want to pair it with any anything. This I, is, I, this I, is marvelous I, beer. You know, like a marvelous beer, fantastic, super good, and pure, pure. I'm like, uh, am I wrong? No, I'm this, like, uh, really no, good. Like, yeah. like it has You're like that, like is... I have. Every note of, um, well, I mean, it's the Grand Cru. So every note of the pure beer that I want to taste. Yes? Yeah. Everything's right. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, else? Well, I can, it's I can perfect, say one thing I just rated on it, Untapped, and um, it's very rare that I rate a 5.0 on anything. And, right. Uh, this one just got a 5.0 for me. All right. Well, fact. it's, uh, well, I, I know I was going to say something about this. What was it? Go ahead. Chris, you, Chris had uh, <laughs> Chris was going to say something about the beer, then and and the that he just took it, just took a taste of it and took his took his thoughts away. That's how good it is. No, but I got it back. I would drink th- this beer um, would go very well if you wanted to do it as an aperitif. Yeah, after yeah, dinner. Yeah. Oh yeah, after fair, dinner. Fair Again, enough. It's, it, 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 I'm just backing up what Dave Senior so, said. So it's not something that you're going to. You, you you might want to pair it with it's it's excellent just on its own to finish off the palate. So yeah. you know, yeah. you know look, uh, maybe very few people know that I have another job uh, where I do fancy cocktails, and I'm not going to talk about that. Um, but uh, we like them though. You yeah, wear a bow tie. Okay, I wear a bow tie. Suspenders oh, uh, sometimes. Too. Some su- some suspenders, <laughs> and uh, definitely vests all the time. Um, but um, do you yeah, I mean, on, honestly, uh, like the one thing we hold behind us, um, the one thing that I can't offer ah. people. No, oh, okay, thanks, Sorry, um, no, it's all right. uh, the the one thing we don't have is this beer. No, we don't have this beer. Well, you will uh, because- honestly. Honestly, I mean, we, we don't serve beer or wine at this other location, um, and it's really weird uh, because we should, because this beer is like the Cavassier or yeah. uh, the Louis Trey, or um, this should be like a thirty-five dollar beer. I mean. It is actually a thirty-five. You could probably beer. sell it at the bar it's for thirty-five I mean, dollars for a it's snifter. It's literally actually a thirty-five dollar beer. Well, but it's a. Uh, it, uh, uh, they are going to be selling it here in Florida because the bottles that we have have the Florida tax stamp on them. So they're going to. We're going to be seeing this soon. But this is the first time they've been to Key West, and um, they're um, not available on our market. I beg your pardon. They're not available on our. But market. But they will be. Oh, they will yeah, be. Yeah, because they have the Florida no, tax stamp be. on it, and this is. This is probably the initial batch they've sent to Florida uh, just to test it out. Yeah. $22. We need this. For what size bottle? <laughs> yeah. For what size bottle? Uh, 227. No. Or 775. I'm sorry. Okay. For a bomber. Uh, I don't know. 775. So a wine size bottle. But it's okay. Is that the, the uh, only way? How is it? No, because we have it here in a 12 ounce. Yeah, yeah. Is it? So and as a matter of fact, when Mark, like when Mark sent me the picture, he sent me a picture today of the the bottle. I knew it was American because it had 12 ounces. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean. Yeah. W- Not the 11.2. What's the time on like? Right. Hmm? Well, that, that that could also be. Can we do the. Yeah, we got time. We got time? Yeah. To do what? You, you guys want to do the next one? We got time. Sure. 
Hey. As long as, long as Dave doesn't like Dave, Dave Jr. doesn't like just dump Dave it out Senior. before. No, 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 no. Dave Senior. Do you want to? You know, do we have one, one more? And we have, and we have yeah. one more. And that's it. I'm Kevin Mark, and you're listening to Key West Beer Tales, the sum of all beers. This is a really complex beer. <laughs> it's complex. Dave Jr., would you like to take, pass down would you around? Would like to sniff the cap? Um, you know, pass the cage around. The cage. Um, this hey, is, does, does this anybody... is a bottle. That bottle has a cage, like a like a wine, like a champagne bottle. Champagne bottle. Yeah. yeah. This, this beer cage. is a Jose. And this nice. does have sediment in the bottom of the bottle. Yes. But, yeah. Oh, that too. But, but answer Danny's question. What the Danny, hell do we got here? Danny, what, what, what do you want to ask me? What do you got? What you got in the bottle, Mark? <laughs> Danny? Goza. <laughs> what is, pronounce the G kind of like a, no, no, like no, a no, guttural no, no. H. What yeah, is the I'm brand sure name? Like yeah. Timmermans is the, the brand name. Okay, Timmermans. This is what? Belgian oh. beer? We're passing the glasses no. around, and Mark is pouring just a, a, just Every, a little everyone bit. Everyone just take a sip. Everyone just take we're a We're just sip. putting okay, a little can, bit in. We can take a sip. From a, yeah, 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 please please your, take a sip. We're, we're waiting for you to get your... What size is this bottle, Mark? Um, big. 750 milliliters. It's a right, so 750 It looks a lot like a wine bottle. <laughs> it looks Dude, like a lot. it's like... It's like uh, yeah, uh, Boeing was involved. Oh, Boeing was... He's got a nose. Mm. It's got a very yummy, yummy. pungent nose. Okay. Oh, wow. That is tasty. I love, Ooh, I love This beer. is a sour beer. I love Goes. Now, Goes. Sorry, the, Dan. The, 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 beer that we, the beer that we had <sighs> from Germany was the Goes. This is Hosa. Is, this is Hosa. It's more like yeah, a hose. This, sorry, sorry, Dave. Less like a um, Goes, more like a hose. Thank you. It's Wait. totally different. Same style, totally different. Beer. Yeah. And this is a lambic, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, is it a lambic? Well, no, lambic. You're, you're lambic mistaken. Because um, lambic is uh, with the additive involved. No, those are those are flavored lambics. This is a non-flavored lambic. If you have a creek, that's a flavored lambic because they add cherries to it. If you. That's true. Yeah. So th- this a is a bit, non-flavored. A little lambic. bit mad at you. Uh oh. You made, it. You made me, Mark mad. Let me let me tell you what Timberman says it is. I just the facts. I mean, I, I more or less want to cuddle with you. Tim, Timberman's but, says this hey, is a Belgian's hey, finest lambic at 5.5%. Hey, would, you, would you please repeat that, Dave yeah. Sr.? Timmerman. Dave Sr., shut up. Shh. Pour me more Shh. beer. It's a white lambic. I just poured you. Some. Says this is a Belgian's okay. finest yes. lambic. Refermented in the bottle at alcohol level of 5.5%. However, it could go up from there because it is fermented in but, the bottle. On these. No, it's, there's only a certain amount of fermentable sugars. Yeah, um, on these. Yeah. Okay. This is I mean, I can't edition. say this enough. On but it's still, it's still effervescent on and bubbling away. And it is date-coated. Sir. And also, you know, this is here's another interesting thing. I don't know if it's still the case because... Um, can I see that bottle now, when you're through? Danny, it's her, it's has never, be, Danny has never been a major fan of the sour beers. Oh, not she really. hates the sour How, beers. No, she doesn't hate them, but she's not a big fan of them. Not yeah. wild about them. No. What do you think of oh, this one? Oh, you, you got a little bit wild about Girl Gone Wild. One of them. <laughs> Whoa. Actually, actually, I kind of like it. Maybe I'm getting used to these this things. This is marvelous. I love this. Thank yeah, you, Mark. I, this, yeah, you're welcome. It's actually um, really yeah, this, yummy. Oh, I mean, I, I think this is a fantastic American... Uh, style. Um, this is from Belgium, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks. Oh, one, one of the things that's interesting, uh, as this is uh, a lambic, um, in Belgium, the lambics, be they a straight lambic like this, a rosa or a creek or a framboise, oh, well, any of them, we, we actually they're all brewed. We actually a discussion about the framboise. Oh, hang on, yeah. hang on, just a second. Let me finish what we're saying, then we can go into right, the framboise. Right, right. Cool, cool. Which is framboise, not framboise. But in any case, oh. um, they're all brewed. I'm going to take my shoe off. You know, I'm <laughs> still going to hit you in the head. <laughs> hey, I've got Crocs. They'll come off faster. Okay. <laughs> uh, but but all, all, all the Lambic beers, no matter what style they are in Belgium, are brewed in one particular area, and they use a wild yeast mm. to brew them. Um, mm. And it's interesting because it's uh, it's on what they call the Bruegel route. There was a 
There used to be a Flemish painter by the name of Bruegel, Peter Chris, Bruegel. This is absolutely and true. Uh, I know it's actually true. That's right. why I'm saying yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not pulling this out of right. my ear, you know. No, no, you're totally right. <laughs> I know I'm right. Um, and, you know, it's really funny. I learned funny. this from Michael Jackson 30 years ago. Uh, yeah, so did I. And he's not the guy with the glove. I, he's what? Not the guy with the glove. No, not the guy with the glove. No, We're talking about the totally British Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yes, thank you. you know where you'll find a Bruegel Great. piece in Key West? Chris. A, a Bruegel print in Key Bruegel. West? Bruegel. A Bruegel print. Bruegel. No, it's Bruegel. He's Flemish, not German. Yeah. It's Bruegel. If you go, oh, into, the, yeah. if you go into the men's room in the Green Parrot and you go to take a leak, there's a big poster right in front of you, and it's like four feet by three feet. It's huge, and it's a Bruegel piece. Yeah, that is. That's, um, that's it, actually that's true, and it is true. Uh, again, once again, Mark has 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 like given me the seal of approval. Yeah, by vindicated. I've been vindicated. smashing my faces, and this is a palate cleanser. If I want to continue drinking, right? What a great analogy. It, yeah, from that, because when I was done with that Grand Cru, I was done drinking, because I didn't want anything else on my taste buds. Now, but now that I've tasted this lambic it has cleaned my taste buds off and i can go drink some more tonight <laughs> <laughs> so you're going but, to that other know, place actually, too we'll be going to that other place but that's actually a, a, a great analogy pass it around who's getting the who's getting the last glass uh, i mean the last glass first. Hey, 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 first. hey 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 has up had has a last glass of this bottle is like really i mean like it's the greatest thing ever no. By the way, Mark, thanks thanks for getting these beers in for yeah, us. Yeah, Mark, thank you very much. We really oh, hey, appreciate you guys. for doing that. <laughs> hey, and you know it is it is Men's Health Month, and and let's oh let's weird. Not, let's, That's the first I've heard of that. But I didn't know there is, was such a it thing. Is, yeah. It is Men's Health Month, and let's not forget yeah. to check our prostates. So uh, there you yes, go. Yes, and not uh, only that, but I'm the only one. Right, no all the men out right there, on the touch show. your butts. <laughs> Who's going to do it right here on the show? So as as we as we move along. Danny. <laughs> yes. What do you think about this? <laughs> the beer. Not the prostate. The prostate. The beer. Uh, I'd like, I know. I think prostates are hey, cool. Real, real quick, Danny real quick, real quick. I just want to, like, Danny. Yeah. Danny Hoy. Yes. Tell me about this beer. This beer is very sour. and and But, but very well, clear. Wonderful. Has a lot of sediment. I got the sediment at the bottom, which is outstanding. Uh, well, we all and it's very ever bottom. it's very effervescent. Made sure of that. Whoa, but yes, bro. and oh. you know what? I would I would totally drink this with with a nice meal of, of some kind of fish, maybe some pickled fish. Wouldn't that be great? Pickled fish. Pickled fish. Wouldn't that be wonderful? No, no, I like feel like you're just repeating things I say. No, I just I I see oh, where I see Danny that this Hoy. is very important. No, I I hold you in high regard, and I really uh, believe Danny in you. Hoy, I I. I I hold you in high regard as well. But really? Pickled fish. <laughs> Pickled fish. And, and red cabbage. What, what, what were you saying? Red and maybe cabbage. Some, and maybe some, oh. and maybe some oh, red God. onions. Oh, God. How about some red onions? Vidalia onions. And liver. Yeah. Uh, liver? Oh, I, well, maybe, I mean, like, maybe red some cabbage good. and you know, yeah. Vidalia onions. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's time to wrap this puppy up. Yeah. Yeah. Time All to wrap it up. Yeah. Puppy up. We had a great man. What a great session yeah. of beers. Yeah, we had what a great session beers of beers. We really Thanks, did. Dave. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, Thanks, thank Ray. You. Yeah, for thank getting you. us these beers tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Other than the snow roller, which was uh, from uh, Stephanie and the, the Magic Cat Company. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. It, it was it was supplied by the Quark and Stogie at twelve eighteen Duval in sunny Key West. That's why That's we live here. here. That's right. And we thank we thank Dave Bevins Senior for that. And right. Dave Bevins Junior. And Dave Bevins Jr. I don't have much also, to do with that. And also, he always <laughs> says that, so... Thank you for listening to the Key West Beer Tales, the sum of all beers. Sponsored, of course, by the Cork and Stovey at 1218 Duval Street. Sunny Key West. That's why that's we, why live, we here. live here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hey. Um, I'm Key West Chris. I'm Danny Hoy. Cowboy Mark. Diamond Dave. And Dave Sr. I'm Thanks. hungry. Let's go get something to drink. Yeah. Yay! Oh, all right. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Key West Beer Tales, the sum of all beers, sponsored by the Cork and Stogie, 1218 Duval Street in sunny Key West, Florida. Follow our page on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter at the KWBT. We are also on Instagram at Untapped. 
Listen to our previous shows on Spreaker.com, and please email your comments to keywestbeertales at gmail.com. Cheers and beers!